Hey everybody, welcome back to RPG Imaginings. We have a new product that is available through the Miskatonic Repository. And this is from Ruined Relic Games, or for those of you who are on the basic role-playing forums, I know that uh, Joe Kenobi has been involved with this uh, project to some extent. And what this is, is a deck of cards that is Bouts of Madness that you can use in your game. And so many of us who have been playing Call of Cthulhu, Cthulhu 7th Edition for a while now, or arguably Call of Cthulhu uh, the, the whole time that it's been around, uh, are always interested in quick ways to generate different bouts of madness that are presented in the rule book. The rule book, I think, has 10 or 12 uh, on the table of bouts of madness. And... Most of the time, I can get pretty creative and come up with something that is unique to the situation that would make sense. But, you know, sometimes you want to rely upon a play aid to help you out with this. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take the little plastic slidey thing off of the cards and check out some of the cards that are in the deck. Because this has the possibility of being a really great resource for keepers. This is a really inexpensive deck of cards. Uh, I believe it's like around $10 for the physical deck of cards, and then you add, you know, shipping, and it becomes around $15 for a deck of cards that you can use for Bouts of Madness. And so, this is uh, sort of like the preview card that comes with it, printed in the U.S., all right? And then the back of the card says Bouts of Madness, and I will almost uh, certainly uh, sleeve these. They're going to accept standard sleeves, and we'll go from there. So, what does it say? This Bouts of Madness deck replaces the real-time Bouts of Madness table found in the Call of Cthulhu Keeper rulebook. When an investigator suffers sanity loss such that a player would normally roll for an outcome on the real-time Bouts of Madness table, that player instead draws a card from this deck and retains control of their investigator. The player need not show the card to anyone, but rather incorporates the effects of the Bout of Madness as described on the card into their roleplay. Some cards introduce an effect that lasts a certain number of rounds if investigators are not acting in turn order at the time the bout of madness is triggered consider treating each round as equivalent to one minute of in-game time cool okay so i'm not going to show all the cards because you know i'd love it if money was made off of this and so here we have right off the bat hidden genius how do I know that? Question mark. Roll 1d6. The investigator permanently gains 20 points in the corresponding skill. On all results but 6, assign the points to an associated specialization, which the investigator currently has no points beyond the base level. And so it looks like some of these are advantageous bouts of madness. Okay, you could have a uh, stroke of madness that results in a stroke of genius. I must build a monument. They will forever know something important happened here. For 1d10 rounds, the investigator focuses all of their energy on building a monument to the grandeur of whatever triggered the bout of madness. That's a cool story related about of madness. Stolen identity. Nobody can be trusted. The investigator is convinced someone stole their identity and is committing terrible acts in their name. For 1d10 days, the investigator will attempt to pursue and uncover the imposter. That's pretty potentially damaging, given that it is an investigative game. Peripheral threat. There's something there. For 2d10 rounds, the investigator sees movement at the edge of their vision and is convinced another entity is also present. That would definitely be a cool role-playing um, situation. I might also like include to this something mechanical like... Um, Maybe skills associated with perception, you know, would, would take a penalty die during that time or something like that. Difficulty in focusing. Mania. Roll 1d4. The investigator develops a new permanent mania, either bibliomania, acluomania, aniomania, or lipomania. And the mania manifests acutely for the next 1d10 rounds. All right. Phobia. Roll 1d4. The investigator develops a new permanent phobia. Hemophobia, demophobia, stenophobia, coimetrophobia. The phobia manifests acutely for the next 1d10 rounds. If the source of the phobia is not present, the investigator imagines it is. Cool. Let's do one more. Conspiracy theory. 
Who's really behind this? For 2d10 rounds, the investigator believes larger forces currently observing them from the shadows have perpetuated a hoax resulting in the trigger of the bout of madness. So yeah, this is a really cool deck and uh, definitely uh, worth the price for the utility for its use in game. And so uh, I congratulate Ruined Relic Games for bringing this to the Miskatonic Repository. This is a very useful tool. And so, yeah, happy to share this with all of you. Go check it out. Uh, you know, I'll put a link uh, to the, I'll put the direct link for this card deck into the description box below and go check it out. You can also get it in PDF form for cheaper if you would like to print out the cards and, and just have it be a, um, Still functional, but cheaper deck. That's perfectly okay. And so, yeah, thanks everybody for watching. I'm going to be having some more great stuff coming at you on RPG Imaginings. Have a great day.